So now what we're going to do is we're going to simply add dry material to this hopper and then we're going to adjust the water to get a consistent mix so it goes into the hopper. When this continuous mixer comes from the factory, uh, we want to always turn, this is a water dosing meter, we want to always turn it down to stop. And then we want to open it up approximately two turns. Uh, two turns is about what most materials take. Now, we're going to pull this out of the hopper and we're going to mix some material into a bucket till we get the proper consistency. And that's done by just simply adding more water or decreasing the water. As you're adjusting this, you make very small increments here and then wait a few seconds for that change to come through the mixing chamber and come out. If you simply turn it and think it's not right and turn it again, you're going to chase the wetness of the material. In other words, there is a slack time between the travel of the mixing chamber. So we want to make a very small adjustment here and then check it there. Okay, so this particular mixer has one speed. The speed is dialed in to full speed on this stucco pump. So basically, this stucco pump has a remote on it. So when it's turned on at the nozzle, you'll hear the pump go on. The person who's loading the bags will turn on the mixer. When he hears that gun go off, when he hears the, this machine stop, he'll turn this off. By doing that, you're going to maintain your one-third, one-fourth full on the hopper at all times. Now, sometimes there's a little bit of variance, but you just want to watch it in the hopper and keep it at that level. So what we're going to do now is we, so no wet goes in this at all. It's all dry bags broken into here. That said, you never want to get it down to the point where you can see the auger. If you get it down to that point, the auger is no longer taking material in, but still adding the water dose because the water dose is preset. So you're going to get wet material. So you always want to, it doesn't have to be completely full, but you want to always make sure you never see the auger. And if, if that happens, if you get behind, you simply turn it off and then add more bags to get it up there. This will hold between two and three bags at any given time. One person can easily keep up at our pallet an hour, breaking bags into the dry and keeping track of what's going into the hopper. So now I'm going to add material to the hopper. Uh, this particular setup has a water sensor in that if you do not have at least 40 PSI of water going into the system, the system will not turn on. So you always want to make sure you have 40 PSI. And as we get going, we'll know if we don't have enough water flow. Um, so sometimes uh, if you're on a job site where the water is a long ways away, you may have to find a closer water source. So just keep in mind that it's set that it needs 40 PSI to work properly. So now we're going to turn it on and simply test the, check the consistency of the material. So I'm going to add a little water, it's a little dry, and I'm going to wait because it's going to take a minute to do it. Now it's starting to come a little wetter, I'm going to add a little more water. And basically what I want to see is it laying flat in the bucket. When it's laying flat in the bucket, that's a very good consistency for pumping. You're going to use a bucket to adjust this thing. There we are right there. We see the consistency, it's laying flat. You can take this bucket, add a little water to it with a drill and still utilize it in the pump. But you wouldn't want to pour it in there like that because there's dry, wet, dry. So you wouldn't want to use, just pour it directly into the pump. But it can be saved simply by putting a drill in it.